Good morning. I am starting this a little bit later than I've filmed some other things. This is my first vlog since Ronan's been born. Um, it's actually my first vlog since I was like 30 weeks pregnant or something like that. And now Ronan's here, of course. Uh, he's almost three months old. And we actually have some like huge life changes coming. My husband found a new job and we are moving like three hours away. I no longer do in-home daycare, which is uh, what I was doing while we lived here. Um, our house is sold. We've bought a new house. We're just waiting to close. Chris is not here today. He's down there doing something with the house. I don't know. I'm letting him handle everything so it doesn't stress me out. Um, it's just me and the babies today. It's a Thursday, it feels so weird to just be me and my kids on just like a Thursday. And Chris actually is having two weeks in between jobs where Please he just go. gets, where he just gets time off too. But hey, I so, love you. I love you more. <laughs> Autumn wanted to be in the video. <laughs> Anyways, so I have a few things I wanna get done today. I just wanna get the kitchen cleaned up maybe tackle some of this laundry and just straighten up in general. It definitely has been harder keeping the house clean with two, just because when Ronan's awake, I'm normally tending to him. Really and she's, sleeping. you're sleeping? No, I'm sleeping. Oh, normally when Ronan is awake, I'm tending to him and she's making as much mess as she can. Ah. And then when he's back down, I feel like I have to cram a million things into however long he decides to sleep. Uh, so I think I'm gonna make a video of everything I wanna, um, a list of everything I wanna get done today. And then we'll see how much we actually get done. I wrote down a few things I could think to do. So we're gonna try and get all this done. Hopefully before he decides to wake up, but he's already stirring, so we'll see. So I just got done fixing my hair. I think it's pretty straight, I don't know. I had a few things come in the mail that I'm gonna open. Two of them are a surprise. I kind of already started opening them and I was like, let me take a video. This one, this is a Mother's Day gift. This, Chris said, is what well, was supposed to be here for my birthday, but it's not, or was not. And then this I ordered for Ronan from Old Navy. So for his three month like progress pick, I'm doing a lemon theme. So I found him a little lemon romper. All right, so I already kind of opened this, but this is what Chris got me for Mother's Day. It's a sweatshirt. It says Mama's Garden, and it has my kids in their birth month flower. I had showed him that I wanted that at some point, but I didn't know he had ordered it already. Finally got this out of the packaging. Oh my gosh. I told him about this too. So, this is not a Stanley Cup, but it is a Stanley Cup dupe. So, this is what we're starting with in the kitchen. And my goal is to tackle this before come in. Ronan wakes up. I'm gonna come in. Come in where? Come in fix 
Oh. Oh. I got basically nothing done before he decided it was time for milk. And um, now Autumn is tapping because that's how I mediate with her is she can tap the whole time. Brother is awake. So that's our background music. I'm gonna hope he eats and just kind of hangs out so I can at least finish the kitchen. I won't be able to do all the dishes, but I was Almost done wiping down the counters and stuff like that, so. <gasps> what is he doing? Okay, he's sitting in his seat. I'm gonna try to finish up the kitchen and finish up the dishes. It doesn't look like a lot of dishes, but I also have to empty the dishwasher. So it ends up being a lot. And of course, as I have put things away, Autumn has gotten them right back out. So it goes. Uh, why, why is it like that? What are you doing? I love you. So he's still sitting in his chair. I've actually gotten a lot done, but he's starting to fuss now. I'm about to, next thing I'm gonna do is bag my milk. Um, he's exclusively breastfed, but I have a bit of an oversupply. So I pump just to kind of, I pump to maintain it because I like being able to put um, milk in the freezer, even though he doesn't take, I don't know if he'd even take a bottle. He hasn't had one since he was like two weeks old. My next thing is to bag these. This is from last night. This is from after I fed him this morning and I'm going to bag these. I pump about 20 to 25 extra ounces a day on top of exclusively nursing him. So this is from this morning, it's like six and that was right after I fed him. And then this was from last night after I fed him and put him to bed. I make more at night for some reason. Please ignore the pile of clothes in the crib that I am giving to Chris's sister for her baby boy is due in a couple months. I want to say, it's a mess in here, but I am really going to miss Ronan's room. He never even got to use it because he's still in the bassinet. And we'll be moving before he even grows out of the bassinet. Beep, beep, beep. Oh my God, Ronnie, you're so cute. Beep, beep, beep. What are you staring at? You what do you see? He's looking at my phone. <laughs> you ready to get dressed? Are you ready to get dressed? Hey baby. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Ta da! Him's on twist. Good job. So, 
It's now 10, 11. Ronan is down for his second nap. This one is normally the longest. It's like two to three hours, normally. So I'm gonna make Autumn and I some lunch and Autumn will take a nap around 11. I have literally spent all morning trying to clean up and it still looks like this. Autumn will let me put that away even though she hasn't touched it once. I literally have yet to be able to do the dishes. Autumn has gotten toys, shoes, everything everywhere. Um, still have a lot of laundry to do. I did pump and I already bagged it because it was exactly five ounces. So second pump of the day. And it was five ounces straight to the freezer. I have each bags around 60 to 70 ounces, each of these Ziploc bags. Um, the kids woke up from their nap. Ronan had some milk, obviously. We are, we are about to go for a little walk until Ronan has to take his next nap. And then I obviously am, and then I'm going to pump when he naps. And that'll be my last nap pump until he goes to bed. Are you ready? You got your phone? Yep. Got your baby? Yes. Ronan, are you ready? Are you ready? These are called buttercups right here. What you do? is you take them and you put them under your chin and if you see a yellow glow, that means you like butter. You see anything? No. You don't see a yellow glow? Yeah. What does that mean? It means I like butter. Do you like butter? Yeah. Hooray! That did not last long. Someone is like, he's getting ready for a nap, but he's not ready. He's just fussy. Oh my gosh, what could he do? Do I have tried my best to update, but Ronan has literally cried since we tried to go outside. Um, one of them days, So yeah, Ronan has literally cried all up the bed. Um, I had to hold him and I, I had to nurse him. I literally just sat in my bedroom with all the lights off with the white noise on and I swaddled him. And I finally got him to latch and just yeah, I let him sleep like attached to my boob for like almost an hour just so he would sleep. And now he just woke up a little bit ago. Hi. So far, he's just watching TV. I think I ate something that upset his stomach. He has reflux, and if I eat like something that upsets his stomach, he gets so fussy. And I think I did. Chris is now home. He brought home dinner because there was no way I was cooking, but. He's getting some stuff figured out with our new house. And I am, I am feeding the baby, um, putting him to bed. And I think this is where I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna put him to bed and go eat. Hopefully he goes.